is simply not true. Congressman Tom Price, Republican from Georgia, is our guest today. He's chairman of the Republican Study Committee. It's a conservative group that pushes for cuts in government spending. Congressman, great to have you with us this Sunday morning. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Good to be with you. First, let me ask you, this stimulus package is huge, $820 billion at least, some six to 700 pages the House bill was, the Senate one might be even longer. With the rush to get it passed and on the president's desk, I'm curious first how much time those who voted had a chance to really look at it. And when you did, what was your immediate reaction? Well, my immediate reaction was what the American people thought, and that is that they want a solution. They want a solution to the economic challenges that we face. And it was clear to me that the bill that we had on the floor last week won't do it. The truth of the matter is that another $1 trillion of borrowed government spending won't invigorate the economy at all. And now we've got over 300 economists all across this nation, Stanford to Harvard and everywhere in between, including three Nobel Prize winners, saying exactly that, that increased government spending will not improve economic performance. It prolonged the pain in the 1930s for the United States. It gave Japan uh, the lost decade. They call it the lost decade in Japan of the 90s when they passed, as I understand it, eight stimulus bills. The good news is that there is a solution, and we put it on the floor last week in the House. We hope the Senate will adopt the kind of measures that we had, which allow families all across this nation to keep more of their hard-earned money to incentivize small business, the job creators of this nation, to create jobs and get this economy back on track. Congressman, the White House disagrees with that impressive uh, group of economists, saying that the accusations that this money, the stimulus money, will not reach much of it, our economy, till way after 2010. They disagree with that. And also the president made clear no earmarks. Have they met that challenge? Uh, I don't believe so, but I believe what the White House has put on the table is really hope over experience. If we look at history, history tells us every single time that we allow the American people to keep more of their hard-earned money, and when we incentivize small businesses, again, that job creator all across this nation, when we incentivize businesses to create jobs, in fact, that's when we invigorate the economy. So there is a solution that's out there. I urge the president to embrace it, and I call on Americans all across this nation to call their United States senators and let them know that they believe that the solution is not the $1 trillion of borrowed government spending that currently is in the package. Congressman, though, the folks on Main Street may hear that number of $800 billion or $1 trillion and think something's got to come my way, and I need it, and I need it now. When they do make those phone calls, if they choose to get involved, what do you want them to tell their Senate offices, their representatives, about what they feel is right or wrong with some of the measures in this bill? Well, the American people know in their heart and in their gut that borrowing more money won't get us out of this challenge. You can't do that at home. You can't do that in your home economy. You know you can't do that in your business. And governments are no different. You can't keep borrowing and spending. You can't keep printing money that you don't have and expect to get out of this challenge. So the solution, what I would ask them to tell their senators and representatives, is that they understand that the solution is to allow Americans to keep more of their hard-earned money, to make it so that businesses, large and small, have the incentives and have the resources in place to be able to invigorate this economy and create millions of jobs. We put on the floor of the House last week a bill that would create 6.2 million jobs at half the cost of this Democrat majority bill. Uh, that was voted down basically along party lines. There are solutions out there, and that's the good news. That's what Americans want us to embrace. Congressman Tom Price, thanks for laying it out for us. We appreciate your time today. Thank you, Jamie. And John McCain and several other top Republican senators, they've reportedly come up with an alternative.